Hi, welcome to From the Heart with Purnima Nagaraja. Today I really want to talk to you about ambition, aptitude, attitude and how to go about it. A lot of us feel that having an attitude is fantastic. That people will take you seriously if you are snobbish, if you are a little rude and if you think no end of yourself. What is an attitude without aptitude? Aptitude means doing the things that you are uniquely talented in. Don't tell me I don't have any talents. Every one of us has something that we are good at. Some of us sing, we're trained or not. Some of us play something really well. Some of us run, some of us swim, some of us doodle. Even doodling is an art. So don't think I don't have a talent. I am not good at anything. And don't let anybody make you believe that you're useless and that you don't have any talent. Every one of us has a talent. What are we doing about it? We just want to sit down and think that we know nothing, be angry, rebel against our parents, be angry with the whole world because everybody is telling you what to do. Why is the world telling you what to do? Because you are not doing anything. Being lazy is one thing, being unhappy is an entirely different thing. Tell me the truth, are you lazy because you just want to be lazy and having fun being lazy or are you being lazy because you don't know what to do or you are angry with mom and dad? Parents definitely want the best for all their children. But sometimes, knowingly or unknowingly, they may be pushing you. When they see you not studying, when they see you wasting your time, when they see you continuously on the net, when they see you continuously playing games on your mobile, definitely it's worrisome because they've paid a huge amount to get you into the best schools, the best colleges and try and give you the best education possible. Please don't shrug your shoulders and say, who cares? So are you being lazy because you're just having fun being lazy and doing nothing? Or are you being lazy because you're really angry with your parents and you don't want to study or you're doing something that your parents would really get angry with? Lot of us kids really want to take revenge on our parents. So what is the revenge we take? We don't listen to them. We don't take a shower. We don't study. We try to fail our exams. We get into relationships that we know they won't like. So what are you gaining by taking revenge on your parents, by spoiling your own life? Does it even sound sensible? It really doesn't, isn't it? Sometimes parents may not know how to communicate with you. But you're a younger generation. You know how to talk. You know how to get things across. You don't have to fight and shout and be rebellious. Sometimes I know so many children who are angry with their parents and get into drugs and smoking and drinking and going off to pubs and stealing money. At the end of the day, whose life is getting spoiled? If you are going to be sitting in a rehab center cooling your heels for about six months, who has lost out on their life? If you are going to overdo the freedom that is given to you and that freedom is taken away, who are you going to blame? Why are you getting so angry with your parents that you are spoiling your life? In fact, there is a story of Kalidasa who was very angry with a tree. So he sat on that branch and axed that branch. You know the result, he fell down, broke his leg and the branch fell on top of him. So this is what we end up doing. We are angry with our parents, angry with our schools, angry with our teachers, angry with our friends and we spoil our own lives. We get so angry sometimes that we want to cut ourselves, hurt ourselves. Sometimes we get so angry that we feel that only destroying myself is going to make my parents realize my value. Why are you sitting down trying to teach the world how valuable you are? Why can't you show them how valuable you are? Do something with your life, study, pick up a profession that you like, be happy, be cheerful. If one friend doesn't like you, doesn't matter, make another friend. Try not to get into destructive relationships, either on social media or in the real world. And if at all you get into something, learn to walk out with dignity and say, fine, I made a mistake, let me accept that. So mom and dad are angry with me, they're going to shout at me for a bit. It doesn't matter because I made that mistake. Let me learn not to do it again. Don't make the same mistakes again and again and again. If something is bothering you, talk to somebody. Reach out, take help. You have so many unique talents within you. Don't drown it in a sea of sorrow, which can actually be helped. Do not destroy your life. So why are you destroying your life? Because you're angry with somebody else. I have so many children who come and tell me, my mom doesn't let me sit on Facebook or I'm not allowed to be on WhatsApp. Ever thought why? If you're studying, if you're doing all the things that you need to do, going to college regularly, why would they stop your recreation? It's because you're so hooked onto your gadget and you're forgetting your responsibilities, you're forgetting your creativity, you're forgetting all the good things that you're capable of doing and just sitting on your gadget that people say, 
I think this is becoming a little too much. Let's take this away. It's only when you misuse your freedom that people punish you. Talk to your parents. Tell them, look, I've studied for four hours. This is what I've studied. Now I need a half an hour break. I don't think any parent is mean or nasty to stop that. But no, we will fight with our parents. We steal money and buy SIM cards. We hide phones under our table, sit there, talk all night, get up late for school and then wonder why is my mom so angry with me? So let me be angry back and let me do something, let me fail my exams and teach her a lesson. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? It is kind of stupid. Please have a hobby. Please get rid of your boredom and your addiction to your gadgets. Have a hobby, do all the fun things, talk to your neighborhood children. If somebody says something nasty to you or something that is not healthy, come back and speak to your mom and dad. If your mom says, avoid this person, ask her why, have a discussion. But if you really feel that she's right, please listen to her. Don't say that I'm a teenager, I'll do exactly what I want. Yes, you're a teenager, you have different needs. There is a generation gap, I 100% agree. Mom and dad are of a different generation, you're of a different generation, your likes and dislikes are different. But I think the basic amenities of life, such as roti kapda or makan, you know, happiness, having a hobby, studying, you know, doing well in school, doing well in life. I think these basic things remain as basic as ever and they span every generation. So learn your responsibilities first. Do some things around the house. Go tell your mom, let me help you for some time. Or why don't you sit down and I'll make you a sandwich. Just look at the pleasure on your mother's face. And then tell me, she nags you? She won't. Because she realizes that you care, that you're loving, you are fulfilling your responsibilities and also having fun. Isn't that a fantastic place to be? Why do we always think that to rebel against our parents is to stop studying, to mess up our lives, mess up our careers? And then mom and dad force you to do something and say, you have to become a doctor, you have to become an engineer. And then you're so upset because you haven't had the time to tell them what you want. Talk to them. Tell them what you want. Do whatever you want, but do it in moderation. When I say do whatever you want, you really need to have a reality check. Going getting sloshed in a pub is definitely not doing what you want. Smoking, doing weed, doing drugs, definitely not what you want. So when I say do whatever you want, it doesn't mean doing drugs, smoking, stealing money from your parents, going out. Having fun is not doing something on the sly. Having fun should be something that everybody approves of. Every Indian parent, why Indian? Any parent would definitely disapprove of drugs. Any parent would say, do what you want in moderation. Any parent would say, don't go out with friends who are not good for you. Do not walk the wild side. Do not steal. Don't get into mobs and bully somebody. Any parent tells you this. Why does it sound so bad just because a parent is telling you this? Or a school psychologist, or your principal, or your teachers, anybody who's older than you, why does it feel so bad? And why does it feel so good when you're doing something that is forbidden? Think about it. Whose life is at stake here? If you had time to sit down and think about how you spend your time with your friends, how you spend your time studying, how you spend your time planning your life, you will have no time for other things. And what's more, you'll be having a lot of fun. Multitasking is great. All of us are capable of it and more so your generation. So multitask, have hobbies, have not one but many hobbies. Have hobbies that also supplement your ambitions in life. Think about what you want to do, find ways and means of doing it. Also study, also get great marks, also pick the right subjects for college. Also have a life. And understand that having a life is less to do with attitude and a lot to do with your aptitude. Having a life is less to do with being a rebellion and more to do with imbibing as many things as you can. We only live once. Let us live a life that is pressure free because we know what to do, we know how to go about it, and we are great at whatever we do. See you next time with another episode.